Hello students, uh, myself Nihal Kodiya from NG Institute of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we discussed some method of solid modeling. So in today's session we have to discuss one more method of solid modeling that is uh, constructive solid geometry or it is also known as a CSG or C representation or C rep. Okay. So what is constructive solid geometry? First we have to discuss that things. This method is also called as building block approach. Okay, the CSG system allows the user to build the model out of solid graphics primitives and such as regular blocks, sphere, cylinder, chord, wedges and torus. Next thing, this is one of the most popular method of representing, representing and building complex solid. Now, AC, ACSG method or ACSG model is based on the principle that any physical object can be divided into set of bounded primitives which can be combined in a certain manner to form the physical object. Now what is the constructive solid geometry? In constructive solid geometry we have available some types of 3D object like a torus, like cone, like a box, block, cylinder means in that case you have to just give input data once you want to generate any of the cylinder at that time you have to just give value of radius of cylinder and length of cylinder if you give two input value and you have to generate one 3d object directly that is the method of constructive solid geometry okay now this is the solid uh, solid graphic primitive that already available in the modeling software first one that is block Clear. So, first figure indicate block. In block, there is a 3 axis x, y, x, y and z. In block, if you want to generate a block, at that time you have to give as an input data, you have to give just height of block, depth of block and width of block. Means you have to give value of w, d and h. Clear. Height, depth and width. If you give 3, data, three input value and you can generate a ready-made block in modeling software. Second figure indicate that is cylinder. In cylinder, you already know in cylinder, cylinder uh, required two input value. First one that is radius and second one that is length of the cylinder. Okay, if you give radius and length and the software automatically generate one cylinder. That is also a method of CST. Third one that is cone. So in con, you have to generate a con rediment at that time you have to give as an input data you have to give base radius clear and you have to give height of the con. So based on that you can generate a con in modeling software. Next one that is a sphere. So in sphere in, as an input value only required the radius. If you give value of radius at that time automatically software generate a one sphere. Clear. Next one that is a wedge. So in wedge you have to give three value using in, in figure number five that is wedge. So in wedge you have to give as an input value that is W, D and H. W means width of edge, D means depth of edge and H means height of wedge. So if you give these three input value and you can generate wedge directly in the modeling software. And next one that is a torus. So in torus you have to give a, a, a RI and RO means inside radius, outside radius, clear, clear and you have to give some distance uh, of uh, two torus and you can generate torus in the modeling software directly. So this is the solid graphic primitives that is already <coughs> available in the uh, modeling software. Clear, you have to just give input data and you don't need to draw or you don't need to apply any of the features, clear. You can generate this 3D modeling directly in the solid modeling, solid modeling software. Next, that is Boolean operation. Now you already know what is Boolean operation. In there, we have to discuss total three Boolean operation. If we have to combine two object, if we have to reduce uh, any of the object from other object, or if we have to subtract any of the object from other object. At that time, we have to use Boolean operation. There is three types of Boolean operation. First one that is union, second one that is intersection, and third one that is difference. Clear? Union means we have to combine two objects. Intersection means we have to find out the if any of the uh, any of the two object is combined, and we have to find out the common portion of that object. At that time, we have to use intersection. And third one that is difference means 
we have to subtract uh, any of the object from other object and whatever parts is generated it is difference clear so first figure indicate union in first figure you can easily understand that one one uh, rectangle one or uh, square is there and one square uh, circle is there if we have to combine this uh, square and circle and generate one figure clear and we have to cover all the area in union you have to cover all area of two bodies clear that is the union second figure in, uh, can, uh, indicate that is intersection <coughs> means in this case we combine two object one uh, square and one uh, circle after that we have to find out common portion of that so half circle indicate that is the common portion of that clear common portion of that two body third one that is difference means we have to subtract circle from the uh, uh, square at that time uh, you can uh, see that remaining body is there remaining body indicate it is the value of the difference of these two bodies so uh, we have to use uh, this all are the uh, boolean operation that we have to apply in the conceptual solid geometry okay so structuring or combining the primitives of the solid model in the graphic database is achieved by use of boolean operation means using boolean operation you can subtract adding or uh, uh, combining all these bodies using boolean operation clear in conceptual solid geometry so now you already understand uh, how to combine any of the two body this all thing you already learn in the mathematics okay boolean operation next that is csg tree means we have we have uh, any of the body with four to five components at that time how to combine four to five components based on that we have two types of tree one is a unbalanced tree and second one is a balanced tree okay so we have to discuss both these three separately for example while doing a union operation it is preferred to combine all the union together rather than achieving union of object two at a time a balanced and unbalanced method of building the same object is shown in figure now in below figure we have total four component a b c and d and we have to combine this four component with two method first one that is a uh, unbalanced tree and second one using balanced okay so this method indicate the unbalanced tree means in unbalanced tree there is a two figure two two component a component first we have to combine two component a and b and we combine a plus b component and we give name as a s1 after that we have to add one more component that is c and we give name that is s2 means a plus b plus c we add one more object after that we have to add last object d means the root is s3 is equal to s2 plus d that indicate a plus b plus c plus d means in unbalanced tree uh, which method we have to follow first we have only one object a after that we add one more object as a b then after we add one more object c and then after we add one more object as a d means we uh, add uh, each object one by one but this method is considered as an unbalanced tree now we have to use balanced tree in balanced tree what we have to do first we combine a and b and we combine c and d after that we combine uh, this both object clear this is the shorter shorter method and that is the balanced tree so this is the balanced tree and from the figure you can understand that one. how to use balanced tree like this means in balanced tree that is one object is a that is a cube b is look like a cylinder first we have to combine with faces that the name is s1 s1 indicate a plus b and you can understand that from the figure that is how to understand s1 this a plus b second one c in c that is a small cylinder and d that is a large cylinder radius of c cylinder is higher radius of d cylinder is lower and we have to combine c and d uh, in uh, we give the name of this union is a s2 and in c that is a base radius is higher so we and d as a base radius is lower and we have to combine with the faces with the faces of circle we have to combine c and d so that is indicate s2 now we have two body s1 and s2 s1 is the combination of a and b and s2 is a combination of c and d now we have to combine s1 and s2 and give them as s3 
So S3 is equal to S1 plus S2. That means we have to combine all four components A plus B for S1 and C plus B for S2. And we generate a same object. But this is the consider is a in a balanced tree and in a previous uh, that is considered as a uh, unbalanced tree. In unbalanced tree, what we do? First, we uh, consider as a single body A. After that, we add one by one all the body and generate one 3D object. It is unbalanced tree. But in balanced tree, what we have to do? First, combine uh, first two objects separately. After that, we combine C and D separately. Then after we combine last two. This is the concept of PCST constructive solid geometry. In constructive solid geometry, we have a, uh, already available some primitives like cylinder, cone, blocks, sphere, wedge. All the objects already available in the software, and we just we have to give based on the value. We just give input value, and we have to generate a 3D object in CSG. Okay. And in CSG, we have to generate one tree, balanced tree or unbalanced tree for the object. If we have to combine number of object, so we have we have to use for combining or sustaining, we have to use Boolean operation in constructive solid geometry. And you all know we have to use three Boolean operations. First one that is union, second one that is intersection, and third one that is difference. So using different type of Boolean operations, we have to generate number of solid model. Means if you want to combine any of the two body at that time, you have to use union. If you want to find out common portion of two body at that time, you have to use intersection. And at last, if you want to subtract any of the body from other body at that time, we have to use difference. Here are so different types of Boolean <coughs> operation, different types of primitives available in the uh, CSG uh, constructive solid geometry. Okay. So this is the uh, most important method. To generate a solid model. Okay. So in next session we have to discuss boundary representation or beta representation. Thank you.